Now I have a couple of unique examples that you're going to see from time to time and I want to make sure you know what, what to do with those. So let's say for example I have a line that says y equals negative 4. Now it's in a context here that we're on a two-dimensional plane. So it's not just y equals negative 4 at one point, rather it's a line y equals negative 4. So how do you graph that? What does that look like? Well, on one level, I can get a sense of putting it into our slope intercept form of the line. Remember that equaled y equals mx plus b. There's no x value here. So my slope would be 0 because 0 times x disappears. I have a value, a constant. So my b represents negative 4. And then I can see that once the zeros cross out, I'm back to y equals negative 4. So I'm able to see that my slope is 0 and my starting point is negative 4. And remember, all we need to have is a slope and a starting point. So let's graph that. My starting point, or where it crosses the y-axis, down there at negative 4, and I have a slope of 0. That means I go up 0 and over 1. Up 0, over 1. And that's just going to give me a consistently horizontal, straight line at that value right there. Another way to look at that, too, is for every value of x, my y is negative 4. So we've already said that at 0, x value is 0, my y is negative 4. What if x was 6? There's no x in there, so my y is negative 4. So regardless what value of x we choose, my, y, my y value will be, always be negative 4, and that's why I have a horizontal line. Now, contrasting a horizontal line, you may see something that's a vertical line. Correct. And for the same idea, I'm not going to unpack it as much. For every value of y, what's my x value going to be? My x value is going to be, not going to use that pin now, my x value is going to be 2. And so there I have a vertical line representing at every value of y, my x is 2. All right, last question for you. Are both of these functions, I mean, this one doesn't cross the x-axis. This one doesn't cross the y-axis. Oh, that's not the definition of a function. The definition of function is does it pass a vertical line test? Oh, that's right. So this one does pass the vertical line test. There's no place where it crosses more than once. However, this one does not pass the vertical line test. So this one is not a function. Horizontal lines, or sorry, vertical lines are not functions.